But none of the first eight James Bond movie themes hit number one. The ninth did in 1985. It was a British band who finally took British agent 007 to number one with the title song from the film, A View to a Kill. Comes in at number 35 among the year's top 100. Here's Duran Duran. Meeting you, American Count 40. I'm Casey Kasem in Hollywood, counting down the top 100 of 1985. When Billy Ocean hit number one in late 1984, some critics said, nice song, but is Billy just another one-hit wonder? Billy answered the question in 85. He had four more top 40 hits, including two top fives. Suddenly, and this one, the 28th top hit of the year, Lover Boy. That song peaked at number two early in March of 1985, Lover Boy by Billy Ocean, the 28th hottest hit of the year. I'm Casey Kasem. This is American Top 40's Year End Countdown. Besides artists from the USA, our Top 100 of 1985 is represented by artists from six foreign countries. England, Scotland, Canada, Germany, Norway, and Czechoslovakia. Here's the composer and keyboardist originally from Prague, Czechoslovakia. The music he writes and performs weekly for Miami Vice is one of the reasons that television show has become such a hit. And Jan Hammer took the show's theme to number one. At number 27, here's Jan Hammer with the theme from Miami Vice.